Now, the UAE is a country that continues to draw in foreign expatriate workers from all corners of the globe. While most people may believe that it is the promise of high salaries that drives this influx, other considerations are now playing an even greater role. We speak with James Watfa, the Managing Director of Executive Solutions, to find out more. As with other countries in the GCC, the UAE relies heavily on foreign labour to keep its projects and economy running. More than 300,000 job opportunities in the UAE will be created between 2013 and 2021. So what is the overall expat experience here like? And what are the benefits and drawbacks of being an expat? I think the uh, expectations um, from the UAE are, are a good one. I think um, very much dependent on um, what grade of expat we're talking about. Um, in the UAE we have a diverse section from uh, blue collar all the way up to CEOs. And I think you find their expectations are, are, are therefore very different. Uh, blue collar workers are generally looking to move over here. Uh, they're expecting a good basic salary, um, high salary so that they can send money back to their families. They generally make big communities, um, and, but uh, they generally don't look at this as a long-term um, contract. Um, other expats uh, are moving here with their family. They're similar to myself. Uh, they're putting their kids into schools. Um, they're fitting in much easier with the other expat communities. Um, I think that their expectations are long-term. I think the UAE offers so much to a lot of people from all over the world. Um, you have so many business opportunities, so many jobs with high salaries. Um, you've got the taxation, uh, no tax on income in the UAE, which uh, creates quite a large demand. Um, there's no, uh, there's excellent infrastructure, um, good schools. Um, so I think all of that generates a lot of interest um, and makes people uh, expect a lot. Um, I think some of the negatives and some of the drawbacks are that the cost of living is, is, is rising uh, and therefore people uh, are finding that their salaries aren't increasing with the same amount. So where people were taking home and, and there was the ability to save and send money home, that now is being challenged. Um, I think obviously uh, some of the drawbacks of coming here are you, you are living away from your family, you're leaving your family in your home country. Um, and, and, and culturally, sometimes it's, it's, it's not as easy as people think to change cultures and, and integrate with a new uh, society. So I think those are the major drawbacks. A recent LinkedIn survey revealed that the UAE is the most attractive destination for professionals for the second year running. According to the study, India is the leading source of professional talent coming to the UAE, followed by the UK, Pakistan, the United States and Qatar. So why are we continuing to see an influx of expats from these countries? How much better are the opportunities here than from these source countries? I think, um, as you've seen with the UAE over the last five to ten years, um, there's been a huge influx of new companies. Um, over, I think in 2015, um, we had 15% more business licenses, um, which created so many more jobs. We've got the Expo, um, which is coming in 2020, which again is going to create over 300,000 jobs. So this is generating the business opportunities, the job opportunities, which is driving uh, a huge demand for people overseas to come to the UAE. I think with the internet, a lot of these jobs uh, are, are getting to countries that they previously hadn't seen, so which again is driving interest. Um, I think with tourism, um, Building in the UAE and, and making it such one of the top destinations, I think people come here for a visit, um, see what the lifestyle is like, see what the opportunities are like, and so that's that's also driving people's expectations and traffic to, to the region. So yeah, so I think um, especially places like the States um, and, and the UK, I think with the new international multinational companies using this as a hub uh, and an area for expansion, um, that's, that's creating jobs for uh, and, and, and also um, giving a lot of information to the uh, other nationalities within those countries. What are some of the factors that need to be taken into consideration when moving to the UAE that people may not think of? Yeah, I, I think cost of living. Yeah. Uh, I think people need to do a lot of research into um, what their expectation is, financial expectation, uh, and, and what the cost of living is, so they can really work out whether it's going to work for them. Um, 
as apart from the other other cities or other countries. Um, so accommodation is is one of the key factors there. That generally is thirty to fifty percent of people's salary. So I think that's one of the areas. Transportation and food are the other two other key areas that they need to take into consideration. I think obviously there's the rules and the and the laws within each country that people tend to not look at or do any research. Um, and you find that, especially in Islamic countries, the UAE is, that uh, there's dress codes that need to be adhered to. Uh, obviously, alcohol is only served in hotels and bars, so people need to be aware of if that's the difference to their home country. Um, and I think, in general, um, people don't look at tax. They don't, see, they don't review the financial issues. If there is a tax in their home country, will they still be affected? Uh, or will that make a change? So those, those are the three main uh, areas, I'd say, that uh, things that people need to look at before they come to the UAE. Welcome back. How great a factor is the overall quality of life and lifestyle when making the move to the UAE? Obviously, job security is one of the main concerns when moving to a foreign country. But are we seeing a shift in employee expectations with a new focus on well-being and happiness? Yes, I, I, I would agree. I, I would say that maybe maybe 10 to 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer, companies used to bring uh, uh, staff out to, to different locations on a two to three year contract. Mm -hmm. And so I think lifestyle and, and wellness were, uh, it was part of the contract. There was probably not less, it was more job security, um, career development were the key focus points. But I think over the last 10 years, um, you've seen that companies now don't offer the uh, expat packages that they used to offer. It's, uh, it's less of a hardship to move to the UAE, so we're seeing a lot more local contracts. Um, but as you've seen, Dubai's developed. It's, it's turned into a, a, a truly magnificent um, destination, travel destination. So um, what we're finding now is that people are looking at this uh, Dubai or UAE as a lifestyle choice as well as a career choice. So they're merging the two together. From your experience, how long on average do people plan to stay abroad and how long in actual fact do they end up staying for? I think if you take me for example, um, I came out here in 2005 with the plan that um, myself and my wife would be here for two to three years, potentially maybe five. Um, but as you, I, I, I will, after the first three years I've set up my own company, uh, I've had two children, my father's moved out here, my sister's moved out here and had children, um, and I've got lots of other family that have moved out here. So I think that's probably quite similar to a lot of expats. Um, and so I think that potentially people now are looking at five to ten years uh, as, as what they'd like to do. But we're also seeing from just from the recruitment market where candidates are finishing their two to three year contract and rather than go home they're looking at doing another two to three year contract yeah. um, with a potential up to five. So um, you know I, just in my business alone I've got um, expat families that have had children that I'm now employing. Mm. So uh, you know they've been here nearly 20-25 years so I think um, the expat moving to the UAE is really looking five to ten years as a, as a, as a norm. Based in Dubai, Executive Solutions has been serving government, semi-government and private sector businesses for over eight years, specialising in direct, tailored and HR talent solutions, along with nationalisation initiatives throughout the region. So with a team that has extensive knowledge of the UAE market, what nationalities are the most interested in coming here and which groups tend to thrive the most? I think uh, if you look at the population itself, 80% um, of the population is expat and, and uh, the, the three major populations are Indian, Pakistani and Filipino. So obviously there's a, there's a demand there and there's a, there's a real um, keenness to come and, and move to the UAE because they've got such large communities. Um, but I think also with the current climate in some of the Middle Eastern countries, from a, um, a there's a lot of there's a, a huge incentive to move um, just for security uh, and because the UAE is such a secure safe place to live um, we've seen a huge increase in Arab nationals um, obviously Europe with the economies not being as good as they, they were um, UK uh, Greece Spain all, all, all these nationalities were starting to see a lot more applications for jobs um, and a keenness to move into the UAE 
Um, in terms of um, who thrive, um, I'd like to say that the, the Arab nationals, because obviously it's an Islamic um, country, they speak Arabic, they speak English, they, they understand all the rules, they live close to their home countries, um, and, and so it's, it's not much of a hardship, so I'd say that they thrive probably the most, but then when you've got over 2.6 million Indians in the country, you'd have to say that India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka also have, uh, find it very easy to live here. Well, that brings us to the end of our program. If you would like to know more about any of the stories you have seen tonight, you can contact us at uaeweekly at city7tv.com or by calling us on 04367 From myself and the entire team, have a great week ahead.